Good evening, y'all. Thanks for being here. And if you're new, welcome. I encourage you to review all of the class notes and lessons and make your greatest efforts for yourself. So it's the end of a interesting day, the climbing wells, the variety of families, and the energy today has been very heavy. I'm absorbing that energy from a lot of different families in a lot of situations, and if I had not already cultivated and owned the knowledge that I am the sovereign of this kingdom and I run it, I rule it, and I choose how it's going to go, this day could have been devastating on many levels for many people. Because the role I carry and function within professionally wields a bit of power over vulnerable individuals. And I must always, always, always be cognizant of the fact that none of what I'm doing has anything to do with me. It's not about me. And in fact, I should not be present. This ego, this person, should be an extension of them in their climbing experience. So... If I did not already have a firm grasp on waking up in the morning and running this kingdom in a positive note, in a positive frame of mind, I could do a lot of damage. Today's energy made it very difficult to stay focused on that positivity. But... In the end, that is what made, made this day for many people. Because in that palpably negative energy and the skill I have been honing and developing in maintaining positive sovereignty, um, I was able to bring that positivity into their world. And that was wonderful. But what for my purposes of the lessons we're experiencing, I'm finding that I'm still, this participant in the class is still stuck in resentment. The energy of today has been very empowering for me to recognize some resentments that I did not realize I had. Because as I'm fluctuating emotionally between the pulsating energies that I was experiencing all day long those negatives that we all experience in these flesh suits were pounding me just like they do everybody and I was having these flashes of different resentments and in the midst of conversations I would actually say well that sounds very much like resentment you know and talk myself through acknowledging that so, I encourage you in these times when it's hard to even want to go forward, find the positive in that negative moment and sit with that positive. For example, the negative, negative energies of today, there were some situations I was positive were resolved and I was having conversations with somebody else for educational purposes in how to get through things and my tone and my body language were quite reflective that I had not recovered from the situation that was bringing me that resentment the positive that came from that is that I was able to use those moments of weakness to recognize where I had these issues that were unresolved 
and work through them with the climber I was working with. So they were also able to experience that process successfully. So that was a positive about the negative energy. And outside of just the negative energies and the pulsating energies of today, the course of our days flow in peaks and valleys, oftentimes. And it's when we're in those moments of negative emotion or out of emotional balance that we need to be able to examine that and find what it is we need to learn from that moment so that we can be done with it and go forward as part of recovery and healing. An incredibly wonderful and powerful thing that came through the working of that resentment today with climbers <laughs> was the tremendous and positive impact gained by a 16-year-old girl who did not know, I might be about to say something that you guys don't know about, so be prepared to look this up if you don't know, because it's important stuff. She did not know about girl rules. When did we quit teaching our daughters about the girl rules, ladies? That what kind of mess is that? We can't be having these girls going around not understanding these things. This young lady actually thought that this girl was still her best friend when she's dating her ex-boyfriend. Shaming her for things she didn't do and embarrassing her at school. I'm like, she just busted out the top three chick rules. Why are you even thinking this girl is your friend? Granted, it was a rough conversation, but it was appropriate to the situation. And this particular young lady was looking right me right at me and looked right across the table at her mom and she's like what are girl rules and I was like hey mom you know so we had a conversation about girl rules which led us into a conversation about the life altering power of the do not engage <laughs> and she has a safety plan in place and a do not engage plan in place that is going to change her life and it's going to change her dynamics with her family. And she knows that she's in for a little bit of a learning curve doing it. But it was incredibly powerful for her to understand that just because somebody flings some words in our direction doesn't mean we're under any obligation to accept those words. Those words are out in the universe as a testimony to them not to us. It was very powerful for her to learn that she gets to choose if she wants to engage with somebody or not. Just because they come up to you and start speaking to you and, and, and trying to engage with you does not mean you have to engage back, especially if it's an unpleasant or uncomfortable subject matter. And she hadn't really grasped that yet. So I'm very excited to see how their plan goes with her newfound, um, empowerment in her adolescence and her view on and knowledge that this is a life-changing exercise that will impact and change her future forever right it, that's what do not engage changes your life forever powerful life-altering tool there and that ties again to resentment right because resentments come from, we've learned a lot of different things, expectations being the priority. Well, some I learned today is anticipation builds resentment. I did not realize anticipation was a form of expectation. I don't really function in expectation. I think I've mentioned that before. But I do have certain things about me where I anticipate if somebody says they're going to do something... I'm not arrogant enough to expect them to do what they say they're going to do because that's not my business. But I do anticipate that there's going to be some needs on my part around, you know, a fulfilling my end of what they're saying they're going to do. So I have some anticipation around that. And so when it doesn't happen and I find myself emotionally unbalanced over it, I think in that moment that I'm justified because, well, I didn't have an expectation on anybody, but... You know, they said, so I anticipated. Mm, anticipation, another word for expectation. 
So we got to quit putting window dressings on that word because it builds resentments. Well, in this case, resentments were being built from words being flung at her and being accepted that she did not have any reason to accept them. They weren't true. She was under no obligation to engage, but she didn't understand that her power in that. So she has now gained the ability to avoid resentments because she has a new tool to avoid grasping out words that she doesn't want to own. That was a great part of this day, that power of the do not engage. But <laughs> beyond that, for me, today I learned how to end resentment very, very quickly and with finality. And that for me was by tying it to the reality of who I am and who resentment is. Not what. Who. Because these are beings. The fruits of the Spirit are beings. When I say be love, I am encouraging you to reach for the characteristics of an existing being who is representative, you know, the physical body, Christ, etc. These are beings they are representative of. Well, positively divine beings, there's also negatively divine beings, right? Resentment is an antichrist. Why? God is love. Everything about Father God is love. All of the fruits of Father are love. Love is not resentful. If something is not love, it is anti-love. If Father is only love, and something is anti-love, it's against Father. If we are physical manifestations and representations of the body of Christ, we are Christed, and resentment is anti-love, then in fact, as we are Christed and we are love, what does that mean, right? Resentment is Antichrist. It's a whole new meaning to that word based on the times we're living in and what we've come to expect from the Bible, you know, scriptures, right? So what we know now about these beings, the who's, not the what's, kind of gives a different perspective to what could and or is Antichrist. I have a very strong sense that we will be experiencing more days like today with regards to cosmic energy and earth vibrations. I strongly anticipate, and this is not an expectation, it's a feeling, that they will become more intense. And that those of us that are fortunate enough to spend some time in the desert this fall, we might get to understand why. But those are feelings, not facts. This is me at the end of the kind of day that I've had in the profession that I'm in. I've climbed many wells today, and this message is all over the place because this tired and broken brain knows that it's supposed to say a whole bunch of stuff, and this is the best it can do. So, as we will probably be having more days like today, I encourage you to 
find the lessons in those days that are relevant to your recovery and healing and embrace those lessons because in the midst of it is when is the best time to deal with it. It'll be the hardest time, you know, one foot on the land, one foot on the sea. It'll be the hardest time to deal with it, but it'll also be the most effective, the most authentic, and you'll get the best results because you are in the moment of it. You are experiencing it. You're not reflecting backwards. You're not trying to remember. You are right there. So, you know, if you're having one of these days of difficult energy and you're emotionally unbalanced and you're all over the place and your conversations seem to have negative things in them or dramatic things in them and, you know, all of a sudden you find yourself saying something and you realize that it might be some, you might be denying something in that moment during that hard negative energy that you're experiencing the revelation of that denial, do your work right then. Get your notebook and write it down while you're experiencing it so that you have that different perspective. Because as we, when we recognize them and work them in the moment, we are more in tune with the actual physical feelings that are going on. And those are the, those feelings are what will, we will recognize in the future if, when they come up again. And the more, faster and better we get at understanding and recognizing those feelings, the faster and more effective we are at cutting them off, turning and walking away and starting fresh, guilt-free. It's a learning process and days like this can be very educational if we're looking for them to be and seeking them to be. I hope that all of you are able to one day, if you have not already, embrace the life-altering power of do not engage. Because that young lady today, I got goosebumps. The hair stood up on my body with the power of the change that she made in her life right in front of my face, right in front of her mom. From just a few words of encouragement and a little information of clarity from being authentic and aware in the moment and embracing the negative emotion and doing something positive with it. Because for you, as for me, that was the power of my day. Was taking all of this pulsating energy that I'm unsure what to do with. I don't know what's going on or what's causing it. I don't have that kind of knowledge like some other people do. I just know it's there. And I know it's not going to go away, and I know it's going to happen again. So knowing these things, we can use those in our favor to benefit our healing and recovery. Because when we do it right in the moment, that's the hardest time to do it. It's the most effective. And it will bring you the most genuine, authentic results in the end. So in my musings and ramblings this evening, I hope. I have been able to provide something to you to help you with your own healing and recovery. I'm going to take this tired head and do something different with it. I hope you all have a great day. Embrace your mystery. Find your keys. But best of all, be love. Nothing else matters. Love always wins. Always. Can't lose with love.